Today we're debunking homeschool myth number seven. Homeschool kids miss out on way too many things. Hey there everybody, it's Tracy from teachmetracy.com. On this channel, you're gonna find videos all about the tips, tools, and tricks to thrive in a homeschool lifestyle. Today we're talking all about the misconception that homeschool kids miss out on too many things. So let's talk about the first thing that you may think of. Number one that comes to my mind is graduation. There are quite a few groups that you can join. There are co-ops, there are umbrellas, there are part-time academies. All of these organizations can offer graduation ceremonies. And if there's not an organization that you have access to in your community, then start one. There's nothing in the rules that says that you can't start one yourself. Then you guys can get together and plan the graduation ceremony. So as far as graduation goes, they will not miss out on a thing, especially if you're on top of it. And I know that you are. The second thing that people think that their students might miss out on is a prom. And again, I say <laughs> co-ops, pods, many umbrella groups, homeschool associations, Facebook groups, if they're local, all of those folks can put on a prom, rent a space, get some chaperones, some music, you know, you know how to do this. Put on your own prom. We plan private parties all the time. A prom is no different. So I would encourage you to look into some of these things just because it's not being offered in a homeschool environment or just because your child is not attending public school doesn't mean that they have to miss out on these things if it's something that's very, very important to you or your child. And as homeschoolers, it's even better when you get the kids involved. So they can even be in the planning procedure, getting the DJs, getting the decorations, setting up for the for the prom. I don't know if you are someone who's familiar with the movie Footloose, but dancing was banned and so they banned the prom. So what happened? The kids got together and they figured out how to rent a space. They put the decorations up, got the music together. I mean, it was fantastic. They all came together. Homeschool kids are more than capable of doing that kind of thing. So I would encourage you to get your kids involved. All right, let's talk about science fairs. Same deal. And this is a project that you guys can get the dads involved in because dads like the hands-on science type of thing. Moms might need to do a little bit of the planning and the room getting and that kind of thing. But involve the dads in the judging and invite local people that you might know. Contact some of the universities or community colleges around local science teachers that you might know to come and be judges. All of these things can be done if the parents get together and decide that these are some things that they want their homeschoolers to experience. This is another reason why I constantly say you need to be connected with some kind of homeschool group. And if you're not connected with one or there's not one in your neighborhood, start one. Start one. You'll be amazed at what you can get accomplished when there's more than one person trying to do it all. So let's talk about sports because this is another area where parents are under the misconception that their kids are going to miss out. At the time of this video, there are 22 states that allow homeschool students to participate in sports. Check it out and see if your state is one of these states that will allow it. If your state does not, it's a great opportunity for you to get involved to try to see if you can't get your state on board. Also realize there are individual sports and club sports. One of my homeschool friends, her daughter just received a swimming scholarship. So just because your children are not playing on a, a team that is sponsored by your high school does not necessarily mean that they cannot participate in college sports. If your child excels at a sport, the scouts will be there. It doesn't matter if they're involved with high school sports or if they're involved with club sports. Some parents are concerned that their kids will miss out on band. Now, if you're homeschooling your children and you know that there are other homeschool kids that also play musical instruments, you can get together small chamber groups that perform music and often smaller chamber type music like Mozart and Bach and a little Mendelssohn, some Handel. They do not require a conductor. So the kids can work together 
to perform certain concerts. So just because your kids are homeschooled does not mean they have to miss out on all of these opportunities. It does require, however, that you take an active role in making sure that your child is involved with some of these, if that's a concern of yours. The possibilities are endless. You can establish game nights in homeschool groups. You can establish, I mean, park play dates, skate play dates, you name it. And you can do these in the middle of the day when businesses are offering discounts and it's not as busy. And your kids get a chance to use their cooperation skills in a group setting. It's wonderful. You would not believe how many opportunities there are for homeschooled kids. I hope that helps you. That is myth number seven. Homeschool kids miss out on too much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.